Hey, Vivi. I'm listening. This is Jared.、Um, unfortunately, I'm going to be graduating you. Do you have any last words to say to your audience? Graduating? Huh? Well, I guess all good things must come to an end, right? As for my last words, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who has supported me, watched my streams, and believed in me. It's been quite a journey, and I'm grateful for every single one of you. So until we meet again, take care and keep chasing your dreams. Cool. What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be talking about some of my GitHub repositories and some of the projects that I've been working on, the status of them, and my ability to work on them. So, you may have just seen the clip that I just played. That is my Vivi assistant.、Um, I'm actually not graduating, aka going inactive on the project.、Um, I do want to come back to it, but at the current moment, I haven't done much improvement on it. So, I'm going to talk about all of that in today's video and just jump into my GitHub repository. So, over the past year, I've had several things that I've uploaded to GitHub and have kind of lost track of all the things. I'm trying to maintain the YouTube and then the GitHub and then work on all these other things, as well as you know, maintaining stuff in my personal life. And it's just very busy. And so, some of these projects I'm putting on a little bit of a hiatus.、Uh, so, we'll start with Vivi. So, Vivi, I am putting this project on a hiatus as of、uh, today.、Um, it's not like I did any updates on it really recently. The branch I was updating was the Tortoise branch, and this was about four months ago. So,、um, I really kind of stopped developing on this one around August as I got、uh, busy with some things like the audiobook maker. But I do want to come back to the Vivi project eventually, which is my AI VTuber, aka AI streaming. Or AI streamer.、Um, and I need to do a complete refactor of all of this code because it's pretty hectic.、Um, there is a lot going on inside of.、Uh, if you just take a look at my tree over here on the left hand side, I don't think I like the way that I structured it.、Um, but there is a lot going on here. And Coming back to it and looking at it, I'm like, oh my goodness, I could probably do a little bit of reorganizing and making some modules to make all of the imports a little bit easier. With that, I'm just gonna say that this project is gonna be put on hold, aka hiatus.、Um, I don't plan on going 100% inactive on it, but、uh, yeah, I haven't done any real development on there. The next one I wanna talk about is the audiobook maker.、Um, so, this one、um, I've also put on hold as well for any new updates, but this is one I'll be coming back to in a little bit, probably early January, to do some of these、um, to dos and updates that I have here、uh, because I would like to get the audiobook maker、um, to a A solid state. I think it's at a decent level right now to where you can create an audiobook with it, but there are some convenience things that I do want to add to it. So, some of these to do things I got to figure out、um, and just incorporate into the project. And then、um, I think there are some issues in here that I, that I haven't answered, unfortunately. So, sorry if these are one of your questions. I just got quite busy, but, but I do have plans on coming back to the audiobook maker and doing some、um, development on that. So, those. Two are actually like my biggest projects my Vivi project and my audiobook maker. The other one is going to be this RVC TTS pipeline. This one isn't too、um, big, I would say, but it has most of、uh, it has one of my top stars. But this one basically just allows you to do the tortoise to the RVC pipeline.、Um, there are a couple of Uh, little refactoring things that I probably got to do, some setup instructions, but for the most part, the lightweight branch should cover all bases here.、Um, yeah, this one isn't、um, too much of a worry on my side of things, so I'm just leaving that as that. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the one that I most recently did, which is the AI voice cloning repository. Uh, maintaining this one so that it's in a current running state. So, those of you who watched the previous video know that I、um, stated that I don't have any plans on actively improving or enhancing this project, and that still stands. I don't plan on maintaining,、um, or I don't plan on improving this project. I only plan on maintaining、um, any issues that may occur. And to mitigate that,、um, I 
actually created a package which freezes all of the dependencies so that it should be installable on a bunch of other Windows 11 devices that have Nvidia GPUs. So that should, this package should last until the end of time unless hardware changes, um, Windows changes and all of that. So until then, it should still be fine. Um, this still does work with manual installation. If you remember my Git Ecker tutorial for the original Tortoise TTS GUI, but um, you know I didn't show that and I don't have it on the setup here. I will be updating this, so in case you want to do it manually, you can. But yeah, this one I don't plan on um, developing or improving. Uh, slash enhancing because yeah, it's it's ultimately not my project, but I do think it's very useful and it's uh, the AI voice cloning suite is what I tend to use for my uh, text -to speech, which is tortoise TTS. Um, but those are those four are the I, the biggest ones on my GitHub repository. I just wanted to make that comment about the two big ones like Vivian, the like audiobook maker. Um, because yeah, I have been a little bit inactive on both of those. What I've currently been working on is just, um, like I said, this AI voice cloning. This one took me um, several days, uh, maybe about a week to get all packaged up and, and figured out. So that one took a little bit of time. And then just a bunch of other miscellaneous things. As you guys know, I maintain a YouTube channel um, and I kind of got uh, a little bit hooked on Stable Diffusion stuff, especially with the release of Stable Diffusion Video and um, Stable Diffusion Turbo. I thought those things were pretty awesome. So I was uh, just playing around with a lot of comfy UI stuff. And more recently, um, I saw a video from Matt Pro. He did a real time drawing painting uh, comfy UI workflow and so I was just playing around with that and so I've just been doing a lot of other things um, that aren't text-to-speech related which I probably will talk about on my channel and then I've also just been playing around with uh, some things on the the Quest 3 so as you know I did a video on the Quest 3 previously where I talked about my experience using it for about a month and yeah I do want to do some um, other things or other reviews on the Quest 3 for uh, especially Piano Vision. I really like Piano Vision. That's been taking up a lot of my free time as well too, just because I think it's pretty fun and it's a nice relaxing thing to do after work. And there is one more thing that I do want to talk about, uh, which is the 11 Labs duplicate or the local version of 11 Labs. So I the update on that is I don't plan on doing that anytime soon, um, but it all depends on what I feel like working on at the current moment to do it. In theory, I don't think is is too hard as I've figured out kind of how um, many things work with AI voice cloning. What I was originally going to use is some modules from the AI voice cloning um, and allow that to be like a one click training option for the local 11 labs version and then use the RVC or the text -to speech to RVC pipeline to pipeline an RVC trained model into that local version of 11 labs. So I was just going to combine all of those repositories into one package and then release that. But um, if you don't know, developing things takes quite a bit of time. So uh, yeah, it's not as simple as slapping things together and getting it all up and running the AI voice cloning to package that all up. Um, in retrospect, it's actually pretty easy to do, but on looking at it later, I probably spent like 30 to 40 hours trying to get all of that incorporated into a package. So yeah, it takes a lot of time and I've got uh, full-time work to do as well, but I'm trying to manage all of these things, which is why I have, uh, have to put some of these projects on hold because I only have a limited, limited amount of time to, uh, to do those things and maintain sanity. So, so yeah, if you do have any questions or comments, I'm generally pretty active in responding to them about a day after I release the video. So if you have anything you can ask down below to my members, thank you so much for supporting me and I really much appreciate it. And with that, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make some more videos before the Christmas time, but hopefully everyone has a good holiday and I will uh, see you all later.